time check. It's almost four. Good evening, guys. How are you doing? How is your Sunday? It has been a cold one. To me, you can see I'm um, all wrapped up. I don't know how yours has been, but yeah, we are here, we are alive again. Your favorite host. So, how everyone out there? You okay? You see, I need responses sometimes when I'm talking, but anyway, it's okay. Fine. We are here to bring you your stories of the week, like what has transpired in health specifically, but also in social transformation. As usual, with your co host, Yaranga Frank, who is about to join me in a few. So sit down, hold your glass of water, hold your glass of food, and let's talk help. Let's have a discussion. So, Frank, you're welcome. Thank you. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Uh, how has been your week? My week hasn't been bad. Uh, uh, uh. It has been fun. It has been educative. It has been. I don't know, a lot has happened throughout this week and that's why we're here to do like share you know because there are many opportunities that are out there that people don't actually get but to do with health but we are here we can always do like today I had that thing in number but if he came here and we actually shared that opportunity to you guys so that you can always know where to go or what is going on in the health department yeah. Well, you know, a lot has been happening in the week. Yeah. You know, so many dialogues, editor dialogues, community outreaches, they have been happening. Yeah. But sometimes people don't know about it. Yeah. So today we're going to highlight them, we're going to talk about it with you. And even if you're there and then you had a community dialogue, you can still talk to us and then you let us know that you had a community dialogue, you had a community outreach, you had a dialogue in, uh, in any area. Yeah. And then concerning, of course, about Actually, our... Actually, yeah, not only dialogue, there are very many activities that have, have happened to do with health, yeah. especially health for young people. It is really so exciting that very many people are concerned about us. So it is nice. Uh, starting with you, have you been any or me? I don't know who goes first, but <laughs> I want to take I away that I thing of ladies first, so you're going first. Uh, no, there's nothing like going first, it's about sharing information and sharing what transpired in a week. Okay, so what happened? What so, what happened in the week is like uh, we, we had a candlelight event, candlelight uh, dialogue where we are remembering the people who died, who left us because of the HIV. That happened, of course, we had another dialogue about the health financing. So, it happened that uh, in video, yeah. And the candlelight happened at the African, of course, but we had another one at uh, before the African hour, we had that at City Square. Okay, that, where, like I, 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 I personally uh, took part in, in that candlelight, candlelight activity. I think you highlighted like that from one. Monday and then, those are the Friday, two that I've done. Yes. Yeah. From Monday to Friday, and it was awesome. Us going in communities, teaching people how to actually uh, be co cautious about their health when it comes to uh, STIs, HIV, uh, HIV and AIDS. You know, so we are moving in communities, teaching these people, sharing our, our experiences with another group of young people. It was so vibrant from Monday and Tuesday. Then on, on Friday, there was a uh, uh, candlelight uh, night, the, uh, night memorial while we at City Square. Uh, lighting those candles, remembering people who succumbed to HIV. You know, those moments, such moments, I w I'm not going to say they are fun. Yeah, they're not fun. They are really sad most times, you know, because we've lost many people, young people, to such. Uh, yeah, like HIV AIDS. So, to me, I got like such. Uh, I got a lesson. Yeah, like your life is precious. You know, when I looked at there are many people, many people they mentioned. Well, we try to make sure we bring it to the young people in a different way. But trust me, it remains the same thing. It is a sad thing. It is really sad to see. But again, it's again a good thing to see that many interventions are coming in. 
researches, young people are being put, are being involved in researches, yeah, interventions of HIV prevention and that's the good thing. So it was really amazing. The dialogue, the candlelight dialogue, were both part of it was awesome. It was I, I, I got an experience of my life. And keep it up, whoever is organizing such events, such dialogue, keep it up really. It's a good thing for the young people. Yeah, talking about that, I think you can hear what she's sharing, the touching story. Because for me, I actually attended the two days of the candlelight event. I've attended the one of the city square and I attended the one of uh, Hotel Africana. Okay, so yeah. The um, uh, candlelight, that was it for now, but we really have many things to talk about. There are really many things. So let's talk about the dialogue. Let's leave alone um, the candlelight. Let's talk about the dialogue. We are part of the health financing dialogue. What are those key highlights? What are those things that we are highlighting in the dialogue? Like, are, are they going to consider uh, financing programs of young people? Did they highlight that somewhere? Because me, wherever I go, if I don't hear anything while we are going to be included, I feel sad. So, you could give us a few highlights. How are they going to find, how are they going to plan on uh, financing all steering programs that are, um, uh, that are to do with uh, issues to, uh, to come up, programs that are to come up and uh, integrate issues of young people. Yeah, so what? I think I think even the reason why the Aga Uganda organized that event, yeah. organized that financing dialogue was because young people were not uh, given the first priority. It is like we see like the heritage financing, the heritage sector now, it's it's it's, it's fin financing is declining. Like each year, each year, each year, it is declining. Because we are looking at, uh, maybe we are looking at the security, we are looking at the infrastructures, but again, we forget about our, our health. So one of the key highlights that for me I can point out is that one of the speakers or the panelists say that uh, health is well. You, you, you can't go away from that. That is the that is the point that yeah. really touched me, and I also looked at how they are financing, how they are dividing the money. Do you know that even because even this year they reduced it, and you are talking about the teenage pregnancies, you are talking about the the contraceptives, young people having the contraceptives, all the information, and you are talking about the youth bonus at LSA centers at all. But because when you look at when you look at the budget, you see that those are the things that are not going to be catered for. Yeah, in, yeah. So what are, are they, what are we doing about this, man? Because honestly, I feel like if we don't speak out as we the young people, no one is going to care about that. Yeah, if we are in like, such meetings and you see we are being left out, that is why we have to come up and ask. Yeah. It was really fun when in the community health dialogue. I came up and I asked, and I would hear people saying people power because they feel like young people, whoever is asking for uh, for like a, a, a platform, then that is like people power. It's not that, yeah? Me, I ask you, you're saying you're coming up with a new structure in the Ministry of Health. If you're coming up with a new structure, where are we? Are we included? And when I say included, I mean from top to bottom, not only from the implementation stages, and that's why many young people are put most times on the implementation stages. But we forget that those programs you bring to us to implement, hmm, and we are not part of organizing them or part of uh, coming up with them. Trust me, we shall not deliver most times, and we shall be looked at as incompetent and all that. But if we are given that chance to start from top, we, we, we are in all those stages we are part. And then, when it comes to implementation, it will be easier for us, right? So me, that is one of the things uh, that, that uh, I talked about in the community health dialogue we had, 
it happens and yeah, sometimes you, 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 you had the one of uh, is it Katanga or where is it? No, 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 community where health. You, where did you go? It is universal, like the whole country. The whole country. No, for, like, for you, where did you go? Like, uh, where you had the community dialogue? Like, no, specifically, specific it's area. It's not specific a area. community health dialogue, it was a community health conference. Uh -huh. So, where was yeah, that? At, it was at, at, at Grand Imperial, that's where we were. No, I with saw. Mini was, with Ministry uh, of Health. Yeah. No, you're, you're trying to mix me with us. Uh, candlelight no. is the community health conference we had. Community health, that community health, we sat with guys from Ministry of Health. Mm? Now it is, a, it is a commission on its own, community health. So we uh, are like talking about what new things should we bring up, yeah, yeah. And the whole topic was institutionalizing community health. That is like, how can we institutionalize community health? And we had very many speakers. The most highlighting of it all was the public uh, health lecturer from Ontario University, where he shared opportunities on how community health can be part of institutions. And that is where, because you know, institutions like Ontario, they always have opportunities, they always have funding to do research and all that. So he brought it in this aspect, like if, like people researchers could become could come and be part of community health by the way when i say community health it's not it is primary health care but now they try to make it look at look like community okay it is community health at the same time but it is primary health care how primary health care can be institutionalized so that's why that's when they were like we shared opportunities on how universities can already because they have those opportunities where they are giving funds to make research. They can go in these communities and make out research. What is happening? What do you need? What do you lack? That is one way I looked at it, institutionalizing community health. And then they also highlighted the new structure that there is a very specific department that will be dealing with young people and adults. Whereby you walk up here with Frank, you move to Ministry of Health, and when you reach there, you're going to find a department, a whole department for young people, yeah? You don't have to go to the top. So I think they're trying to ease the way out and how we can reach the lowest person. Yeah. So what are those things that they highlighted that we are still lacking? Uh, I'm not necessarily still lacking, mm. but... But like the gaps that, that yeah, they highlighted? the yeah. gaps. To me, when it comes to, because me, I'm speaking for young yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, of course we need. <laughs> yeah, there were very many, there were DHOs, there yeah. were people from districts, but to me, I'm always speaking for the young people. Yeah. What I looked at is one way they could, they could extend our work, our energy to the community is through peer education. Yeah, like you train these people, whether from campus or the volunteers, wherever, however you can train them, give them enough information. The more informed you are, remember, the more you're the able more to good choices you're going yes, to make. And the more you're able to reach even the lowest the person, lowest give them that information. That peer education is one thing I looked at. Yeah, that for us young people to reach there. Yeah. And also I looked at uh, for future references, how you can create a sustainability. We, the young people who have this opportunity to have this information, can go down there, teach these young people who can also come up and be like us. Yeah, yeah. That is one way young people can contribute to community health, honestly. Because the majority, the majority are young people out there. The majority so are young people we, for who now have we households, say who have families. Yeah. Like, uh, for now, uh, do young people have these opportunities? Are they called for such? Opportunity to that's be what, involved in. That's what if the like Ministry no, of Health is trying to do now. If, 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 if it is no, what are the programs? They are saying that these programs are for young people. Yeah. If the young people are not there, they are for who now? Like I say, like I say, community health they are is they are being starting now, but refurbished. That's okay, what I can see. Yeah. The whole department is being refurbished. Yeah. They are trying to make sure young people, adult saints, all have appropriate information to receive, appropriate services to be given to them. Starting from the lowest person. Wow. That, that was so nice. Yeah, it was yeah, amazing. It was, it was an amazing meeting. Yeah.
and uh, and of course away from the community dialogue, there is uh, the organisations, the Nana government organisations, which I, I think they launched the, an app it's yeah. called uh, Saudi Plus, yeah, yeah, yeah. where they, they provide sexual reproductive uh, the information to all young people. What you do, you just download it, you go to the store apps, and then you have you have the access of the information. Yeah, you just have to that was something down, no. also, yeah, that is, yeah, we, we, yeah we, we, we need to embrace the technology that we are, the technology is here, and young just people are accessing, with, your phone, yeah, with, your, with phone, your phone, go and down then you the will say, like, this is it, uh, this is happening, everything you want, type in, so type I think, in, yeah, yeah, search engine, type in, yeah. whatever information you want, yeah. sexual that is, that is a that good is amazing, innovation, yeah. trust me, yeah. I also, like, like, kudos to everybody, yeah, that, that if, really yeah, amazing. it was really amazing, yeah. and then, when we go back to the remembering people of HIV, because there are, these, these are the things that happened in the world, right? Yeah. So, do you have any story in your community where someone died because there was no LRV, because there was no information, because there were no drugs, that someone can at least take and, and at least take some good time? Yeah. Me, story, yeah. I just think that like, people get misinformed or don't get enough information. There are very many people, trust me, Frank, we cannot start, uh, we cannot, uh, whatever, all of them out right now. But there are very many people out there who die, what do they call it in English? Give a faham chain of, that's why they like call they, it in my language. They, like so die when you're cast? Like no, give a faham chain. What is that? Like, of faham chain, no? It mm. is like, you're not dying, but because you need to, or it's your time. But because there are those circumstances, or there is something you don't know. The unfavorable, yeah, the the unfavorable, unfavorable circumstances. Yeah, the oh, unfavorable yeah. circumstances. Up to now, people still do like, for even in my own home village, like it happens, I see people die in denial. They say it's witchcraft. They say they deny until they are dead. They don't want to say I'm HIV, but trust me, once you accept, uh, the stages of grief, yeah, once you accept and you say, well, you know what, I have a life, I have to move on from now. I have to do something. Trust me, it is going to be easier for you. It is going to. Be, it is not easy to know that your HIV, your diagnosed with HIV. It is not easy. But the more information you get, the more easier it gets. Yeah, you know, you know, one of the person, our key role models that we do have, that we look up to, a major, major langa, major. Is a, just a good langa. You know that person, Rulanga, eh? Ruba, Ruba no. You don't know that. But, it, but one of the things that he I highlighted, he said that I've, I've lived for, H, for over 30 years with HIV. And it pains him when young people are still contracting HIV. Because right now we have information, we can access information, we can know how we can prevent it, we can know how at least we can go about the HIV, but it still pains him. But at least for him, he has lived for such time. Because he's over now 70, 70 years. Because he contracted HIV when he was uh, 70, when he was 30, 30, 35, 37 there. But but also, it starts to know that yeah, if now we say we have we have this go and test with your partner, right? Know your status, know your partner status, and also know yourself status, and then and then and after you go, you have your check, you, you go and have sex, right? Or if if that one can, because of the excitement, because you can forget, you know what? You go for the HIV test, but at least go. With the contraceptive, contraceptive I'm talking about of the condoms, right? Have them in your room, have them in your bag, move yeah. with them. And, yeah, we, and, and we heard of that. Yeah, and by and the way, my, 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 like, to the sad part of it, you give someone, uh, when we're moving the community, we went to what? Opposite this class. Yes. Kisen. Yeah, in Kisen. Yeah. And there is a very, there's a group of people there like people who are on drugs. Okay, you know, that like ghetto you have around I know, I've, go, I've been there with yeah. my friend, because I know he's, uh, he's watching, he's called George. 
George is a yoga instructor. This is George, yeah? Yeah. George, yeah. Hey man, it's, yeah, you can like me That oh, guy George. is a yoga instructor. Mm -hmm. He does his activities in Keto, so he usually calls me. I'm sorry, George, but I know I will call you. I will call you. I did. Yeah. yeah, I will call you and then this is just the beginning. I will. Wait, it's so exciting and I don't want to talk about it. I just want to ask. Yeah, yeah. We, we, I'm going to call you, but this guy, yeah. what he does is that he goes to the communities, he teaches yoga, and because in the, in, the, in the ghettos, people are, are depressed. People, of course, they don't have jobs, of course, they don't have money, and we are looking for what to eat, we don't have what to eat. So, is that. For him, what he does, he uses yoga at least to change the mindset and at least to feel like, yes, there is life after this. Like, this is the hope. That is the hope that this guy is talking about. Like, this guy, whenever he's in the community, he's talking about. And of course, he calls me. And of course, also, when I go, also talk about the sexual reproductive with them, with the same, ghetto people. And then we see how we can do about the, the HIV rate that is really high yeah so there is also alan tenwa live from uganda lol yes lol this is going to happen it is happening guys it's going to happen every wednesday and every sunday we are here to serve you we are here to have fun to learn to share to learn from each other i can see you stuart zamboki Vincent junior i know you're like i don't know how to say thank you i don't know my name Thank you for always being there for us. Thank you for always being online. I see you, Dina. Dina, Dina from Red. She's 14. And when you look at such statistics, and then you look at how the, the health financing is, they're saying that each year is declining. And then you, you ask yourself, and then you wonder why. Why don't we give at least health sector a be the first priority that we know at least this amount of money let it go to this, this uh, let me tell you and, 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 and. there is this easiest form of way of trying to look at it if you integrate health in everything you're doing even when you move and go to a bar but deep down in your mind you're integrating health in it trust me it's going to be easier than that way you know what you know what we had the the one of the video, the, the dialogue that we had about the financing, the, the financing. Yeah. They are talking about the morality and reality. What is on the ground, mm. that is the reality. But the morality... What people want us to think about is morality. Uh -huh. And the question is, and what is morality? Uh -huh. That's what the MPs are talking about. Yeah. And that's why the framework, the national sexuality framework, is still pending, right? They are still discussing about. That's why the school health policy is still pending because the MPs are looking at the morality, but they are not looking at and values, morality, and they are values. Uh, uh, yes, and they are not looking at the reality. What is on the reality? A 16-year-old girl is producing triplets. That's the reality you are talking about. Yeah, when you come back to morality, abstain from <laughs> sex. <laughs> but we are, but young people and uh, maybe uh, any other person, we we, we having sex. We are having, let me call it, unprotected sex. Yeah. So how are you going to, to at least uh, to tell me not to have the unprotected sex because there is morality and there is what? Since you, since now we know that there is uh, unprotected sex. Young people are sexually active. They are having sex. We are having sex. Let me not uh, say like that we are not. And then. What can we do about them? What can we do? I think that would be the question that these guys who are in charge who are saying that the sexual, the productive uh, framework is not supposed to come out because they are now going to say, go and have sex. When yeah, they are teaching when people to uh, have, have sex. sex. When are they, when they not give learning? Them when are they not learning? Like, you know, saying now you can go and use it. Yeah. But now we are saying now, look, a 16 year old is is having triplets. Now, how is she going to take care of the kids? That is the most, the most uh, painful story after, after that. The good thing is that she didn't die. The good thing is that she's still alive. But the question is, who is going to be responsible for the kids? Yeah, community, we need to embrace this thing. Yeah, 
that we, need, we really need to embrace. Yeah. I'm sorry, there is, and by the way, I don't know, but I mean, I, I, I kind of like, I'm not that kind of person who's going to sit down and drink water and mind their own business. When I'm looking at some things and people's views about young people, and it's sad. Yeah, someone, uh, this actually icon in media say, mbu, 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 what is the picture when you keep pushing or allowing girls to stay in school while pregnant? Isn't it going to be the norm? I want us yeah, to Yeah, actually, let me tell you, uh, that person, she deleted the tweet. Yeah, she did, but she, we had already she, captured. Yeah, we are already we, there. The I screenshots think. were taken, yeah. but she deleted the tweet. I think deleting the tweet didn't solve anything. It didn't. Because the information had been uh, interpreted as it had gone even it had gone viral. People had shared the link, had shared the screenshots. But for me, is that if if you are saying that, how is it going to be the norm, right? As, I, I no, think that by the way, she's not so wrong. It is Let not. Let us agree, yeah. Because she's she was so questioning, wrong. but, but the, yeah, she was questioning. Like other but people, other young people, other young people, people school is school going to get pregnant and by, by, Maureen by, is in school and she's pregnant. It's okay, I get it. By the way, I yeah. really understand it. For but me, we're I not looking at one person right now. Yeah, but yeah. because of the maybe the pressure and how the, the replies came in. Yeah, I think that's how why people she didn't responded. Get the that's side. why that she didn't even get the the answers. Maybe she was looking she, for. Yeah, yeah, people just like attacked her. Yeah, like but that. the thing is, me to me, what she said wasn't that so wrong. But think about that picture of that one young mother you're going to send back home. It's gonna be a mother. At a very young age, that she's not even ready for. That's one. That, 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 is, that is one of a very big pool of worries, of problems that are going to come her way because she's pregnant. So even you taking away that small hope of her, yeah, and just leaving her in a box out there to really suffer. That's where depression, depression, whatever you call it, is gonna come from. Yeah, from such things. Me, in my community where I come from, it is okay. It has happened. Women have gotten pregnant, young girls in school have gotten pregnant. I think what she meant is if you're pregnant, you can go home, yeah? Talk of you know, Omale or Ozare, then you can come back. Me, I think that's what she meant. Not necessarily saying they shouldn't have any, a chance anymore. I and think I think those that's are what people are Those are the with. answers that she mm. really wants so to So for Deye Waka, like maybe you get that uh, at a natural care, yeah? And then for Spinet, okay, like you get all that care I needed as a pregnant woman and a ma young mother. Then you can come back to school because it has happened. It has happened. Girls, they get pregnant, they go back home, they pass, then they go back to school later and they go, they thrive. I have young girls that are going through that and they're thriving right now. So I think before we attack, especially upon media, let us first know why people post. Yeah? Let us not just attack like directly saying maybe she's evil, maybe she's inhuman. Yeah. But everyone like everyone is entitled to their opinion. Yeah. Yeah, but but I think because why she was even attacked, because she's a public figure. She is. Yeah, and uh, and you know sometimes when you want to post something, you first look at your role as the person and how many people look up to you and how many people follow you okay so what right? do you do but for me for me for me for me i understood yeah i understood that point because mm. she was like if if these things are going like okay it's okay to be in school in while you're pregnant. you're pregnant i think i think is that okay you are pregnant yes it happened those are the these are the unplanned pregnancies if we can term it like that. These are unplanned pregnancies. So yeah. since it is unplanned pregnancies, what can we do? Be home, produce, have the kid, right? And then after that, after preparing your kid, go back to do what? Go back to school and study and finish and finish the education you yeah, want since to Yeah, sincerely, openly speaking, yeah. like, uh, even the much pressure that young girl is going to go through in school while she's pregnant, it is a lot, it's quite a lot. Yeah. Unless it's a special occasion when maybe she's going to do her final exam. Yeah. And please, don't let her miss that opportunity, yeah? But I mean, staying in school, eh, in an environment, you're pregnant, you're really very young, and other young girls and boys are around you, I don't think it's good. It is not even. It is not easy to sit in class yeah. when you have that uh, yeah. 
So guys, that's a, I think we really need, when whenever someone gives a, an, a, an opinion, we, we need to think it in deep. Um, yeah, like at least we, we take time to internalize yeah, it. Inter and then, me, that's yeah, that's what I do. And then what we time? say before before maybe we attack or maybe before we judge. And then we see how. We, but for me, she deleted. But uh, but for me, I wanted even to tell her. I wouldn't have that deleted. She, yeah, that's it. Because honestly, also, stand chance, for your wife. Yeah. Honest, stand for it. It is not okay. But the kid, when she's pregnant, she can get all the cash. Now, for example, that uh, that young girl who gave birth to his princess. Now it becomes a role of the community. Com that's where community is. Like. That's why we come in. Like. Let the community desensitize the enough. Let them be informed enough to make sure they don't stigmatize such young kids. Let them support. Child support needs to come from everyone. Like the community needs to embrace this. Yeah? Not only her. The mum should that. The one that was Maybe that the father is not. In the picture. Yeah, the thing is that so, uh, we, we, mm. that's why even I say who is going to be responsible for such kind the of community. Kids, the community. It does so hard if you pick clothes. First, we used to do at, at home in my village. They do it even up to now. When someone gives birth, even my mom, she packs like clothes of ours. She takes. It takes away nothing from you. Yeah. Third, those are, that is the work like that is needed to be. And most times. Eh, the community has to desensitize them such things because they will not just eh, they'll be like who aren't there eh? when she has put in her leg up when she has seen this and that you know they say a lot of things but, but you know you know you know sometimes we do the things just to explore such stuff to have the, the, the experiences yeah because we had we hear some stories who have the, from people who have been there who have had sex and we also want to, ex to explore so how how are you going to tell the other person at least let's let them have information that before you have sex or before you engage in sex know what will come out or even during the sex let the person know during the sex what happens or before the sex what happens even after math what happens what are the things that you're supposed to do all right yeah. that's that's where the, the thing of uh contraceptives come in, that's the thing of uh, information coming in. So there are a lot of things that come in after math. So yeah. for me... So, uh, yeah, for let us, um, I think we've had uh, enough conversation on, on health, on health. There are those stories that are happening that actually, <laughs> like, some for me, like social transformation that affect us. Yeah, so... I needed to share like a few there is a story I read on CNBC. Like lawyers could be the next profession to be respected for people. Like such oh, a headline so when you see so me, what? I always have to tap and, and I need So to what was more. in the story? What was it? What is the deep? Of course when you look at the headline, it's almost it's alarming. It almost seems like we are going to lose our job. It's like the robots are taking that over. Robots, that robots, is that really true? Do you really think that is what they like mean the, they are like the, ICT? The, the robots are ICT now taking should over. Be improved? I don't think so, but that's like when you see such a headline... That's why we have uh, more cameras these days. Mm -hmm. We are still installing more cameras. When you see this. such a headline, so that means you the get alarmed. People are some, like the policemen are going to even reduce on the number, and then we have the cameras. But when such yeah, stuff come up. You get alarmed. Yeah. But trust me, you need to read and dig deep what they mean. To me, like when someone says robots are going to take over and like, so come on. When is when is that going to go? But to me, it's actually our advantage as the young people. Because first of all, we know how to use these gadgets. Yeah. Yeah. Me, I'm not alarmed. Actually I'm excited when technology comes become we need to embrace that. That is the fact. Yeah. We know how to use these things. Let us not be dragged behind by saying it's alarming that technology is taking over. No, because when you re read deeply down, when you scoop deep, yeah, when you scoop deep about this headline, it shows you it is not actually that you're going to be out of the job, but it's going to simplify your job. There are things that gadgets or technology is going to add on, which we can't as human beings do. But that doesn't necessarily mean jobs are going to... I've heard those stories about uh, people saying, ah, 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 ICT, technology, is going to take us out of our jobs. Yeah, but I don't think that's true. I think we need to embrace it, learn how to use 
computers, learn yeah. how to learn how to be online, learn all that digital digital is we are going digital and no one is going to stop us. So when I read this, when I scooped this, they were like it is in case it's like no, yeah. It's not going to detect that Frank has lied. But it's going to help you gather enough information, information yeah. where you miss the many things you miss as young as people, not young, as people when you are judging these cases. The slight the slightest things you miss why you can convict convict someone wrongly because you missed a piece of information. But imagine if you had such a gadget to help you with that. Yeah. yeah? And, uh, Other than you saying, running away, that it's going to take away now, it's going to take away our job. Imagine at my workplace, if I had uh, um, uh, 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 a gadget, or if I had enough technology to make me, you know, gather all the stories about SRHR, yeah? So I mean, we should embrace technology. Yeah, and uh, there's another interesting story that uh, She's talking about the people, but this is this is away from technology. It is about um, uh, the artist. You've had, this is an interesting story. Of course, it also happened in the in the week. We're mm. talking about the DNA because it's part of the technology. The technology. Mm. Yeah, there's a woman who is claiming a geostede that she has a kid for geostede and. Uh, I've been reading through the stories, I've been reading through the comments that people are talking about and then and then I asked myself, I was like, yes, these things happen and when I interacted with one of the close people who move, uh, who move with the yachts who has experience in, the, in that field of tours, moving here, go for concerts one thing that he highlighted for me was like, yeah, sometimes these artists go and have sex with any person that they don't know because sometimes maybe it is because they are maybe sometimes they are drunk or but I, I, but I, even I think even just say doesn't drink yeah and then that those are the things that he told me like sometimes they are drunk sometimes they are out of uh, mind they are out of control maybe they. They want just to have that pressure. Can I cut you short? I know that's true, like that's happening, but for this story, I don't think we need to talk about it. Because I've had information saying it's actually not true. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That it's a scam. Yeah. But yes. imagine that young woman with her baby put in those cameras, pulling stupid stunts. Imagine pulling stupid stunts. If that is true anyway. If it's a stand, yeah, that is waiting. a stupid one. We are still waiting one. for the DNA That is really a stupid one. If it's a stand, it's a stupid one. To pull that poor woman. You've not even paid her. Stands are made for money. Stands are made for publicity. But you don't even pay her. If you paid I her mean, enough maybe, money, maybe I would she, be okay with this. Maybe she was paid. Because that is one that way of, of publicizing the soul. But I mean, I don't like that call. If it was a stand. I don't feel like it. I don't even feel like we need to give him this platform right here to talk about it. Right here. I am sorry, but no. Okay, like that is not what we need. Yeah, we need to respect people. That is so disrespectful. Another thing is that her, uh, that young woman and that baby, right? Here. Mm. It's so disrespectful yeah. if it's a stand. But if it if it happens like you're why you're narrating, then it's okay. We need to know that these people also. I mean, if an artist level. Yeah, we need to have levels and we need to have to, to respect ourselves. That is the most important thing. Just have respect for yourself. That is it. And then I, no one even will come and claim that you do what? That you I have your kid, I have your pregnancy, and that is it. But how, even away from that, there's uh, we had a conversation even before we came, the Miss Kathy stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I, you, 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 before we talk you, about you, Miss Kathy, <laughs> because I want to go like there is a story also about human trafficking that our uh, Kadaga talked about, uh, Kadaga. she said human trafficking is fueled by government officials who have interests, who have their own interests. Interest, yeah. It is fueled, guys, you're, you have to listen. If she said, when I read this, she was like, these kind of transactions need to be done government on government, not individuals. Even though that person is a minister or an MP, 
if it is not government on government, if he comes with his own personal interest, don't accept because you're going to be fooled and you're going to be in, in, you're going to find yourself in that mess or you're going to die like the way young girls are dying. So she was saying, if this thing, if it has to keep happening because we can't stop it, people have to go work. Yeah, people but it need has to money. Be government and government. If the government actually, because I remember the government denying that if ever goes, they are on their own. It's not us. Not and another support. thing is that when you're going, have the right channel, right? That right channel yeah. has to be the government. The government, be. yeah. And if even you know if it you're is protected, the company, it is you know you're protected. You can run. If you're in trouble, you can run to the embassy and you seek for for protection. You seek for asylum. I, I, I think that's how it is done to me in a country that is not yours. Because even your rights are not going to be worked on. Your rights are not going to be respected. Like the way they're respected. And no one will listen to you. No one will listen. No one so has the government has to come up. I don't know what they are going to do about it. But she's saying it can only be possible if they can be protected. Protection can be given if it's government or government. If they agree. Like workers are going to move to your government, to your country, and the government stamps on them. That is okay. But it's not that these government officials are just to I, I, I work with the whole minister, I think, later. But trust me, they are on selfish interests. Yeah. They are on but their for own me, selfish for me, For me, I think is that when you're going out, when you're going somewhere to do work, at least have the right channels. So that if it is not the government, if it is the other company that is also trying to get some money also to do the business, know that it really works closely with the government, know that you are protected, know that anything now, that really happens now, to you, that you are protected, that, that you can, the people that can rescue you when something yeah. happens. Those are the things that we need to think or about. If you died, before, if, if you, you died, died or, I mean, these things are going to happen. They are, they'll keep happening. You, you, of course, you've you know seen, the you've seen going stories, to be you've seen uh, videos, how, how young, especially young girls, how they are tortured. Yeah. And the, 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 the videos are traumatizing. Uh, when we look at them, we like, well, we need uh, at least someone to intervene, but who is going to intervene? It's either the government, and the government is like, this person went without consulting us, without letting us know. So it is hard for them to at least help you. But I think yeah. Yeah. it's like you have something to say. Yeah, yeah. someone is ranting yeah. the unboxing. Oh, okay, first comment about the technology. The technology invasion on this planet is inevitable. We just need to tag along. Well said, well said really. Like we need to tag along. Understand why you can fit in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, even our elders, they are the ones running away. They are the ones uh, bringing the, that whole post. But you are always going to tag. You are always going to find a place where you can fit in. You don't have to be a, a digital mogul. Yeah, but you can you can fit in somewhere. Yeah. You can hire those young people to do technology for you. That is how we are going to get jobs. Yeah. Like how have someone who knows the technology. Yeah. Have someone who has the assist knowledge. Them to assist yeah, you. and assist you. It Consultation, yeah, it doesn't This add, is one yeah. way young people are going to get employed yeah. anyway. Yeah. It because yeah. Add. Then his other uh thingy topic is uh, his other comment is, Oh please, Frank, spare us that stunt to me. I know <laughs> And, I he, and know you posted it, I know it. <laughs> spare me. Me, even, France, even, even, like, even like I told him, why are you savage? Why are you like this? Why don't you give people time? Because eh? they need platform. Sometimes, by the way, it's understandable. Some people need relevance. And yeah. we give it to them, but the truth is, it is demeaning for that young girl. For that young girl. You know what she does for a living? She washes clothing yeah. in the neighborhood. No mula manga siti kuf, no mpeka umubitala gwengo. Funa muna ye ya kundawa. Because yeah. when you look at the condition, even before you listen to the story or you read the story, you see that someone is also struggling. Yeah. yeah Ngu, so. Ngu, Ngu Patio has pledged to look after the baby. Isn't that fair enough? Zamboki, <laughs> do you remember when that woman was like,